Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to disable in private browsing and guest browsing in uh, Microsoft Edge and then also show you how to uh, re-enable them really quick so you kind of toggle back and forth between them as needed. So you know that in private mode gives you a private session where it doesn't you know keep track of where you went or save your uh, cookies and that kind of thing. And also you click on the profile and go to other profiles so you could browse as guests. So if you're on somebody else's computer and you want to browse their computer or use their uh, web browser as a guest so it doesn't keep track of anything, you could do that as well. So it's similar. So to do so, I have some commands here we could run. That'll do some quick registry entries here. So first thing you want to do is open a command prompt. I would run it as administrator. All right, so we're going to disable browsing as guests by copying and pasting this into there to run it. Okay, and now we're going to disable in private mode with this command here. All right, so now we need to uh, either reboot the computer or restart Windows Explorer because I don't think it'll take effect without it. So you go to Task Manager, look for Windows Explorer, which is usually near the bottom. Right click on it, restart, you'll see your taskbar icons go away and they'll come back, then you know it's done. Okay, so let's, let's close and open Edge again here. All right, so if we go to other profiles, you notice that uh, the guest browsing is gone. And you notice that in private is grayed out, so you can't do that as well. So now let's re-enable them. So let's enable the guest browsing here. And then we'll enable in private mode here. Okay, restart Explorer again. Okay, let's open Edge. Okay, you can see the in private window is back. And then browse as guest is back as well. All right, so I'll put this uh, in the description here so you could just copy and paste them in your administrative command prompt so you don't have to worry about typing them out. And then you could uh, disable and enable things as needed. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.